Welcome builders, Andy is Jordi and welcome to my second tutorial. This is the 13 upgrades number two. That is today's tutorial. I've already done 13 upgrades number one and that is already a tutorial so check out those other two videos if you wish. Okay, this is what we are uh, building today. It is kind of a little fortified collection of houses and buildings, bridges, towers and kind of a central circular build as well. It's almost entirely over water as well. So this is a little water world build if you will. Build. plenty of water kind of a marshy swampy build this place would look good probably in a swamp in minecraft in fact it could look good maybe at a river delta or even a river crossing as well well fortified a little bit of a tree house on top as well i hope you like it we'll take a good look inside it towards the end of it as well before we build it right to build this you need a 45 by 45 uh, square area 45 by 45 and what i've done is divide this 45 by 45 area up into these little squares here with uh, a gap of three between each square. This is going to really help us lay this out. A gap of three between each square. Okay, start in the bottom left hand corner, the southwest corner if you like. And we're going to build this up five blocks tall on each corner with polished and the azure site. Underneath we're going to go for some cobblestone stairs. And then on top, we've got some Ocus Woodus Plancus, and this is our basic unit uh, that we're going to be building. We're going to be um, placing these in this formation. So if you've set out your 45 by 45 grid, set them out just like that. Then we're going to build a little tower, and the tower is 21 blocks tall. If you'd like some extra pictures of this build, then consider patreon.com forward slash and is Yoda. For one dollar, I'm going to be providing a little uh, guide to this build with some extra pictures to show you exactly how it's built. A few extra pictures on my Patreon if you're a supporter. Right, uh, here we're going to place some more of these little 5x5 five five units, but these are two off the ground. We're going to go for some variation in height. These are two off the ground, making them seven blocks high in total. You can see we've got four on the side, then two leading up to the tower, and we're going to actually add one more on there to make five in a row, plus two in that corner, and they're two off the ground, seven blocks high in total. Now, just like the, on the other side, we're going to leave a gap of three, three gaps, I suppose, where you could have put three of them, and then we're going to have another one of these, again, seven blocks high, and on top of them, we're going to place some more... Um, these five by five units, they're five blocks tall, five blocks wide, they're back, we're back to normal height here, and as you can see, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Right here, we're gonna place another one as well, it's gonna form uh, a tower, and hopefully you can see exactly the way that's been laid out there. Okay, on these towers, we're gonna to put, on the sides, alternate polished Andy's Yoda site on the sides and then we're going to fill this gap up here with some cobblestone. If you're in Minecraft 1.13 you've got a dead brainy coral block, a dead brainy coral block is a good one to fill that in with as well. Makes a difference from cobblestone. Okay, so you need to do this on all four sides of both of the towers. By the way, I've made a slight mistake here. The tower on the left there is one block too high, but I'll fix that a little bit later on in the video. Okay, now we're going to go for some wooden logs, and we're going to make this um, five blocks uh, high. In fact, six blocks high, really, because we're going to be putting on a sticky out bit as well. So this is, again, five by five in terms of its square footage. Um, six blocks high, but that's because we've got a sticky up bit as well on the corners. Upper Ocus Wood is Slabus. And this little unit as well, we're going to move and copy this into different places as well. So you get another look at the corner here, and we're going to place these running around like this. Now we want to turn this into a row of eight of these. So we've got five of these in a row right now, six, seven, eight, and that leaves a nice little gap in the corner. And if you're struggling to count what I did earlier on, you can get a good view of it right there. Okay, next we're going to move on to the roundhouse in the middle. And so coming into this position exactly here, you can count in uh, hopefully exactly where this is. We've got our little standard andesite um, 
box. You think about it, five by five box. And we're going to make a little cross shape of these. So we're going to have four of these in a cross shape. Then we're going to um, build the corners. I'm building the corners out of stone bricks. So you can see these come in just by two by two, leaving a little uh, two by two gap in the middle. Do that on all four sides. And then we're going to count up just four blocks this time, just four blocks of oak wood up the way. Give it a little bit of a plank as well on top. And then we're going to go for a cross shape of another four of these. These are only four blocks tall. The corners on top of the stone bricks get added up as well like this. Two and two, two and two. And you need to do all four corners. Great. Well, once that's done, we're going to move on to what I would probably call the main house. Again, four blocks high. And it's a little wooden frame, four blocks high. I forgot to put in the slabs. This would be a good point to put in the slabs as well, but we'll come on and do that later. So we want actually two levels of these four high logs formed into the five by five frame. We want another couple there and another couple right back over in the northeast corner as well. So once you've built your frames, Then we're actually going to uh, wrap some frames. We're going to have, I think, six frames wrapped around the middle building in those positions. So we've actually got, yeah, six of them wrapped around the middle building. Um, over here in the corner, we're going to add on one of these uh, polished andesite units. And then we're going to start work on the towers. We're going to go around the top of the tower with upside down stone brick stairs and another ring of stone brick stairs and then make some little crenellations here with some stone bricks. Don't forget to give it a little bit of a floor and you could also add in some ladders as well to get up to that point as well. Uh, the tower I'm working on now is one block too high so do apologize about that one block too high. Hopefully I fixed that. I have a feeling that I've forgotten to fix that tower that's one block too high. Hopefully, by the time it comes to the end of the video, I've lowered that tower down by one block. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the rest of the build. You just try and do it a bit better than me. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, pay attention to the house. And what I'm doing here is just putting in some more flooring. Again, upper oak wood slabs on that floor and on the floor... Um, Above. Actually, the floor above probably doesn't even need them. It kind of leads into an attic, so we can probably get away with uh, not putting the slabs on the top floor. Right, grab some bone block, I feel. Oh, by the way, this corner, I'm taking this corner out. I think it's just much better if that corner is out. It gives, adds a lot more character to the build. Yes, so time for some bone block. Now, the bone block just gets fitted into these little 3x3 three three gaps all around the bottom level here. If you haven't got much bone block, then wool would be quite good, or white concrete, or even white concrete powder. Just something nice and white, so it looks like kind of like a wattle and daub medieval kind of wall. So this is not strictly a medieval build, it's kind of a Mojang build, it's kind of a survival build, I don't know, it's like a little survival fortified house complex. Anyway, so all the gaps, all the way around, on the bottom level, bone block with a window in the middle. The top layer is going to just be Ocus Woodus Plankus with your little window in the middle as well. <clears throat> so we'll just move the camera around and get a good view of all four sides. Don't forget to provide one door uh, at some point to get into the bottom level. I guess I add that in a little bit later on. I've got one window missing, I can see. Hopefully I get round to that. Yep, there's the window. Great stuff. If you've got any ideas about what my next 13 upgrades video will be, let me know uh, if you're watching this video within the first couple of days of it being released uh, because I want to know, want to start working on my next 13 upgrades video. If you haven't seen the first one, check it out. It's nearly got a million views. Right, just add yourself a little bit of a roof. Hopefully this is not too difficult to copy what I'm doing here. Just a bog standard Minecraft roof. If you haven't got uh, brick like this, then any kind of roof would do. Okay, just build up the middle with some oak wood planks and logs, and then you can go for another little bit of roof here. Hopefully it's a really easy and standard roof for you to follow. Uh, I'm going to slow down now and go into first person, go into Yoda mode, go into Yoda's head. 
it's a green scary place to be. There we are into Yoda's head and you can see exactly how I'm doing it this time. It's starting to get a little bit more complicated towards the end here. Uh, as you can see I'm actually making a mistake now by placing those blocks, but never mind. These blocks are okay, but the ones sticking out uh, are not quite right. But I'll remove them. Yeah, we don't want those. We don't want those up there. Um, let's move in here and my mistake will become apparent. So bring that up there. Uh, just add your planks in there. So the idea with my builds is to make them always look uh, Mojang-y, bit like a, an upgraded Mojang village. Here's where I'm realizing my mistake. Got to get rid of those ones. Bring that along there like that, and you can have this little 5x5 five five sticky out bit works really, really well. And I'm just realizing that the, the line of bricks above that is wrong as well. That's all going to be turned into slabs. Oh, that one's right. And then we can go upside down there. And then we can turn around upside down facing out the way. Little slabs to finish that off. Uh, correct the way up facing out the way, I should say. Slabs to finish it off. And there is the roof complete. Okay, great stuff. Lots of things done quite fast. That is the basic structure of this whole thing um, complete. Um, oh, I'm going to actually take out this wooden planks here, these wooden planks, and just make this kind of an open upper balcony area. I think that's quite good. So we'll just place a door right here. And that's, yeah, going to be an upper open balcony. But to make it a bigger balcony, it's going to come out by two blocks like this. And in between these two blocks, we're going to fit some wooden planks, upper wooden planks, and this makes a little sticky out balcony. And we'll get some spruce wood fence just to go around the top here. Then got some spruce wood fence lying here somewhere. There we go. And just bring this round here, and it makes a little extra balcony, good for spotting um, baddies, creepers, enemies <laughs> creeping up on you. Okay, so let's grab some more detailing this time. This is going to be uh, dark oak fences. So dark oak fences go wherever there's a um, a corner with the roof sticking out. We'll put a fence, and then we'll put a fence on the wood wooden uh, things that come down like that. The wooden logs that come down like there, and then right on the corner if it's the very end on the roof. Right, I'm building in Minecraft 1.12, so I can't just place these gates willy-nilly so what I'm going to do is just put some grass all the way around and then I can put the gates all the way around just an extra little bit of trim adds a bit of detail to what otherwise is quite a flat looking uh, house but it's up to you to put balconies and extra detail to make it look not so flat okay going to provide a little bit of a, a sunshade here just with some simple um, spruce wood fences some trapidorus maximus as well little trap doors and then on top of the trap doors and the spruce wood fence what we can do is plonk down a nice little pattern here I'm going for red and a little checkered pattern and I think I probably back this up with some yellow and it makes for a beautiful little sunshade so another little uh, ingredient of five by five the building system. Maybe I'll make a 5x5 building system video where I show you all the ingredients. Okay, so coming into first person mode here, I'm going to really show you in detail. I'm going to add this little bit of uh, upper spruce wood slab all the way around just to kind of uh, divide up the andesite and the bone. It looks very smart when you do that. I'm also going to show you a little trick here with some railways to make a little corner flourishy detail. So do that, remove the straights and you get left with the corner one. Looks very nice on the corners. Excellent. Um, just add in some more fences here, stop you falling off into the water, like that. And some more fences here and here, and I guess we'll put the rest of them on a little bit later on. There we go, great stuff. We can come across here, uh, leading over to our central circular building, nice and secure over there, kind of on its own. And provide some little fences there and there, excellent. Okay, right here we can um, add on some 5x5 five five sections again, another little square section of 5x5. Five five. And this is going to help to, to um, form our little staircase. But first things first, this is a tower, one of the towers similar to which we've already built. So we're just going to go alternate polished andesite up the sides and then we've got some simple... 
cobblestone wall to fill this in. So it's a nice little tower and you can provide some windows in this tower. I'm not sure I do the windows in this tutorial, but some little windows maybe with some iron bars would look good in the side as well. Okay, there we go, cobblestone. As I said, don't forget uh, dead brainy coral is quite good as well in these uh, positions. Okay, underneath here needs to be done as well. So just hack this out, make sure this looks absolutely perfect up here as well. Don't forget to provide some space for a door when you come to put in the cobblestone. So I guess, um, no, that should be cobblestone. So let's go underneath and do this. There we go, cobblestone all the way around. Um, oh, got some to do on this side as well. <laughs> There's a little bit underneath to do as well. I, chances are I've forgotten to do that. Um, so here's the ingredients for the top of the tower. We've got some upside down stairs going all the way around as normal. Then a ring of stone bricks on top of that. And then form yourself some little crenellations on top. Good. Liking that. Seems pretty straightforward so far. Um, okay, we're on to this corner now. I'm going to make a slightly different tower instead of uh, stone bricks. I'm going to go for a simple oak wood stairs upside down all the way around in a ring like that. And then in the corners, we're going to place wooden planks, oak wood planks. And then we're going to go for a little bit of a fancy stairs facing in the way and then out the way, out the way, in the way, out, 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 in. Facing in the way, out, 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 facing in the way, and same on the last uh, side as well. Makes for a nice little groove in the side. And then on top, we're going to make these little uh, wooden crenellations as well. So not as heavily defended as the stone bricks, but still a cute little tower in the corner. Oh, we need to do the same thing over here as well. So I hope you're enjoying this uh, 13 upgrades video. I'm going to be uh, working on the next version of this straight after this uh, recording session. I'm looking forward to getting my teeth stuck into another 13 upgrades. And as I say, I please I need some more ideas as to what to upgrade. Maybe I should upgrade different builds or from different biomes, maybe even the snowy biome. Maybe you could work on a snowy upgrade as well. That might look quite atmospheric as well, especially since it's winter time in the Northern Hemisphere. All right, so um, moving on to the farm. So you need to find exactly where I'm building and just copy exactly these um, plant, uh, oak logs going up the way. Hopefully you can see it goes right into the corner here um, and there. I'll take that one away, we'll go up there. So this farm corner is probably... Um, it's fun. It kind of steps up. It's not easy to do. Don't worry if you don't get it exactly the same as me. I don't even think I got mine exactly the same as I did in the first time I built this, but it doesn't matter. Make it up. You can copy if you want. I'm not going to comment too heavily on this, but really you want kind of a, a farm that goes up and spirals up and round. And kind of comes down a level. And that's what you're going to figure out. It kind of comes down a level as you go round and down. Um, we'll come up again another level here. And we'll come across here, this kind of same level. And then up a block here, hopefully. Yep. So everything needs to be elevated and up and off the ground because, yeah, the whole thing underneath is pretty much going to be flooded. Uh, as well. So yeah, you need to be up and out of the way of the water. Okay, we're going to come across here like that. So just have fun with this. Uh, I really don't think you need to copy this exactly the same as I've done it. Just have fun with it. Make a little elevated farm. Uh, you'll see how it kind of works when I put in the actual grass to turn into farmland as well. We're just stepping up uh, and coming around in a nice little pattern. We're going to link this nicely onto the tower here. You may want to have that one block lower. Uh, I would recommend having that one block lower. It just means that what we build in the tower is one block too high. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. Right. So what we want to do is kind of just fill this in with some nice uh, grass here, which we can turn into some nice farmland. 
and again we're just coming up a level each time we move on a square we're really bringing it up to the next level of grass farm and if I've missed any bits out then I do apologize um, very complicated tutorial can't get it absolutely perfect but um, yeah this is fun this is fun I really liked uh, putting on the grass here Underneath the grass, you're going to need to provide some little uh, trap doors to, to keep the water in place or provide maybe some slabs would work underneath the grass as well. I think I end up putting some slabs in place and you can maybe make a better job of this farm system than me. Maybe making it um, solid underneath would be quite good or just making a better job of the whole platform. So I'm kind of confused as to what I'm doing here. I'm just maybe coming across as like that. Is that right? No, I think we need to come down by one block. Yeah, so we come down by one block here. Oh, and then come down by one more block right there. So that all that can be turned into some nice farmland. Don't forget, uh, underneath, if you put some water into those grass bits there, the water's just going to pour all over absolutely everything, which actually is not a bad idea. Yeah, not a bad idea. Anyway, I decided not to have the water pouring everywhere. I guess that wouldn't look too bad. I've decided just to uh, cover up the inside here with some slabs here. Again, you can do a better job than me of disguising this, hopefully. I'm just trying to prevent all the water from leaking out when I go to provide some little watery areas for the farm. So just a few more of them to do. I think I forget one and, and end up having some water leak all over the bottom of the build, but actually shouldn't matter too much. Okay, time to get busy with your watering bucket. Again, that needs to get built up there. I just uh, got a bit lazy there and did it with some grass. But there we go, you can see the slabs. And that's stopping our water from draining away, keeping our farmland nicely hydrated. Oh, yeah, that could definitely go across there. And here we go with some more water there. Cool. You could even maybe make the, the water cascade down in, in a little river as well. Um, so I've got some water leaking out somewhere, but I'm not too worried about that. There we go. That's looking mighty fine, actually. Now it's time to get busy with a good-looking hole and make sure you've got some nice farmland. And then get planting your crops. Good mixture. Wheat, carrots. What do you like to plant? I like to have a mixture. Wheat, carrots, potatoes. Um, maybe even some beetroot if you can gra grab that sort of stuff. And then some wheat as well. For a bit of height and variety and colour. Don't forget uh, pumpkins and melons. Or pelons and mumpkins if you wish. Alright, I'm just going to go crazy with carrots as it turns out. I don't know why. Um... Yeah, I just feel like munching on some carrots. So I guess I was hungry when I made this um, tutorial. Uh, who eats raw carrots? Let me know in the, in the comments. I eat raw carrots. <laughs> the most random comment ever. People will be scrolling through the comments and going, why, why, why is he saying he eats raw carrots? Why would you even do that? Why would you volunteer that information in the comment? But we will know. We will know. Uh, okay, yeah. So just get planting. We'll let these carrots grow as the video goes on. There we go. All right, great, good progress. And that is your little farm, your little elevated farm done. I actually quite like that design. Okay, we have one more tower to do over here, which I forgot to do from before. So this is exactly the same as the other tower. Over here, we need to provide a little roof. So it's a bog standard Minecraft house roof. And as you can see, I've already filled in some of the doors, windows and walls off camera. I think that's the only thing I do off camera. So put a little standard roof on there. We'll glide around this tower and here, I'm not gonna put any walls, windows or doors. I'm just gonna put a little um, roof on. So it's a bog standard, easy peasy Minecraft roof made of spruce wood stairs. I think if you've got this far, you should pretty much know how these little roofs work and I shouldn't need to um, show you in detail. Okay, next we're going to grab some more ingredients. We've got cobblestone wall, cobweb, wood, Trapidorus maximus, podzo, spruce wood fence, stone slabs, cobblestone blocks and cobblestone stairs. And we're going to fill in 
the middle circular building. So let's start off with a bit of our, our roof. So we're going to go, um, we're going to wrap these slabs of upper slabs of stone slab all the way around. Notice I'm not doing the corners, so the corners are missed out. But when I come up a half slab or a half block to my next slab, I am doing the corners. So the very first uh, ring doesn't have any corners, but this ring does have some corners. So all the rest I've got corners. What do you mean by corners? The diagonals, the in-between bits, and we're kind of doing them all the way around. So every level up, I'm doing the corners as if you could walk around that level. You could walk around it without falling off because the corners exist. And you need to do that again and again, round and round, until you've reached the top of this uh, little roundhouse. I'm going to call it a little roundhouse kind of in the middle of our build. Plenty of nice spaces inside it as well. If you'd like to download my 13 Upgrades world, then do follow me on patreon.com forward slash Andy Zoda. And for $1, you can download everything I build every month on the first of the month. Okay, that's how to finish off the roof. But we're actually going to take off those um, five blocks at the top there. And I'm going to bring up some cobblestone. It really doesn't matter how high you bring up the cobblestone. I'm making a little square of, or a little cross shape of cobblestone blocks. And on top of those, I'm going to put some stairs. And that's just going to be a nice chimney. Obviously, the inside of this house, the inside of the roundhouse, in fact, the inside of the, all the buildings uh, that I do in this series, you're going to need to do um, the insides yourself, including a nice big chimney in the middle. Right, we're going to come across here like this. I think I have a feeling that I've done this bit already in the video. <laughs> Never mind, that uh, needs to come across there like that with some nice little fences and we can also put some fences around here as well. And this is where the podzel comes into place and actually can provide some little uh, flower boxes as well. So the podzel sits in the middle of the fences and I'm going to put some Trapidorus Maximus either side of the podzel and put a little flower in it as well and it looks like a nice kind of cultivated, planted, decorated heart of your little town or fortified house. I'm not doing very well with those trapdoors, aren't I? <laughs> That's a pretty sloppy trapdoor putting on. I've messed up two of those trapdoors, I do apologise uh, for that. Never mind. Put some little uh, plants in. And uh, the, the plants, the red plants, really bring this build to life, I think. Got rid of that sort of block in the corner there as well. Okay, so uh, we're going to grab some oak uh, spruce stairs, Trapidorus Maximus, oak stairs, some spruce fence and some dark oak fence as well. And what we're going to do is head over to the middle, provide this little fortified bridge or fortified walkway here. So just copy exactly what I'm doing with these spruce stairs. So it's um, let me one upside down and then two, and then three. And then these ones can get replaced with ones facing back the way. And that provides a nice little platform for our bridge. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three with logs. And then we want to provide some logs coming up. One, two, two, three. And then underneath like that. One, two, three. Make that go underneath like that. And we're going to try and uh, form a little five by five frame here. So there's the three ones in the middle. And then three coming out, and then three coming along, and then that one's going to be coming up. And we can just turn that round like that. Same on the other side. Fill in that gap, fill in that gap. And then you get another chance here of looking exactly at these little supports. So it's one, two, three. Hack away the corners, make them face back the way, and it makes a nice looking support. Don't forget a nice little walkway with a door through here. Again, if this is all uh, down by one level, it actually makes the build look a bit better. I've, I've built it, this bridge one block too high, but never mind. It doesn't matter too much. Again, on this tower, another little bit of a platform. You can have ladders going up and down as well. You can also have some windows with some nice iron bars in the windows as well. Don't forget your door. Door, door, bars, bars, and then through into this tower as well. We've got plenty of doors to put in and wires in the windows. 
Don't tell me I'm going to forget the door behind me. It looks like I've forgotten the door behind me. Never mind. Uh, now we're going to grab some uh, oak wood stairs, I think. And we're going to go upside down like this. One, two, three. Uh, don't put three in the middle. That's a mistake. Um, we're going to make a little balcony here as well. Actually, the balcony is at that size. So we're going to just go filling in those with upper wood slabs. And then I've got some nice dark oak fence to wrap around. And here we want to put some trapdoors. Now the two on the outside are really on the outside. They're not above the stairs. The ones on the inside are above the stairs and that provides a nice bit of depth on the outside. So we're going to place two there and then two on the inside as well. And it provides like a little passageway or walkway on your bridge. Um, we want to put some um, roofage onto this as well. So we'll just spam some nice oak stairs across the way, turning the last block like that. Oh, we want to come on to the inside. So we need to build this up as well and provide us with a nice little five by five frame as well. This is a good thing to do. Kind of looks like your build is all supported and nice and strong as well. So it's just the exact same five by five grid we've been doing since the start of the video. Continue on with your stairs and you need to do the same sort of thing with the stairs on the other side of the build. So since this is exactly the same as the other side, we can just speed that up, add some little slabs on top. Don't forget all your little trap doors and build yourself a little balcony as well. There we go, excellent. Right, uh, to provide a little uh, walkway between the tower and the corner tower, what I'm gonna do is just simply uh, bring some slabs across the way, and these slabs will just link up these uh, little areas here. And to stop you falling off that, we can add little bits of uh, spruce fence, just to provide a little bit of health and safety at the sides. Don't forget to add some spruce fences all around. The walkways on this build, so just swing the camera around here, showing you that I've made a kind of a little um, <clears throat> a ladder upright, right in the middle, so you can actually get up and onto this tower. And I'm going to be putting on um, some more of these little spruce wood fences all the way around as well. Oh, and to join things up, I've provided a teeny tiny little walkway here between uh, one of the original wooden structures and this side structure as well. So the place is looking good, it's coming alive, and I'm adding some nice little fences around the farm as well. Cool, right, now we can move on to the northeast corner. You need to provide some steps up to the door, so that will let you um, figure out how to do your own steps. I've just gone for not ordinary, ordinary wooden steps, four of those, or three if you got it at the right level, and just providing a little bit of support at the sides for that. Simple, simple, easy to do staircase. We need some um, more spruce fences. I see I've, I've uh, missed out some spruce fences in the corner, never mind. Uh, here, between these two towers, again, we're gonna provide a nice little uh, bridge all the way around, like that. And again, some nice spruce wood to stop you falling off your uh, little bridge. Uh, here I'm providing some, some a, la a ladder up to the middle of this tower. And here I'm gonna be working on a staircase. This is a stair up and into the build. So again, an andesite frame and that lets us start to build with some stone brick. And I'm gonna add some stone brick stairs in here. Um, that was my first attempt at some stairs, but as you can see in the video, I'm just about to change my mind and kind of move these stairs uh, into the build. But I think these stone bricks work really nicely. They look really good, sort of framed by the polished and the site. I hope you agree with that. Spruce fences just to defend that little walkway. And as you can see, it's quite difficult to get into this build. You've got to come up those stairs, through the tower, through and up across those towers, around the back of the build, through the main bridge, and then back into the houses at the front. But there we go, to swing the camera around nice and slowly, give you guys a chance to catch up, count your blocks, and see exactly where I have placed everything. Right, pretty good progress, not much to do. Now we're gonna grab some of these ingredients here. <laughs> It was quite quick, sorry about that. Um, we're gonna add on a little bit of floorage down here. So a little sneaky bit of floorage. Again, apologize for my leak. 
Um, this is where we started actually. This is um, where we started the 13 upgrades video with a bog standard 5x5 Minecraft village house right in the middle. So that goes there. There we go, excellent. And then we come across here. Uh, that should probably be a door. We've sealed ourselves in. One of these is going to be a door. That's a window. Yeah, that's going to be a door right there. If I don't put a door on in this video, then I do apologize, but make sure you put a door in yourself. Um, we can bring this little walkway pretty much as level with the, uh, the farms there. <clears throat> and we're going to go for some upper oak wood slabs just to finish off this uh, nice looking little um, lower walkway right down at um, the water level. Might be a good place to do some fishing off if you've got some nice deep uh, kind of lake or pond beside you. There we go. That gives you nice access to the farm. Uh, again, inside that house, you might want to provide a ladder inside that house so you can get up from that house to the upper levels or indeed get down as well. Um, don't forget some nice spruce fences to go around the outside. And your little lower walkway is actually looking mighty fine. Just tidy up any blocks that you think you've got wrong. Add your door into the little house. Um, and we're doing pretty well. Have a look under here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Not bad, huh? Yeah, this place is looking great. Just having a good look around, seeing if there's any other jobs that I need to do. Oh, yes, we can just make kind of a little, um, what I would call a trellis along here. It's just a little frame uh, made of spruce fences. And it looks really good when it's got lots and lots of bushes hanging from it, as if you'd uh, planted some honeysuckle or something to grow up or ivy or something to grow up and kind of grow into this wooden trellis which gives you a nice bit of uh, shade from the sun on that walkway so we'll put some bushes on that a little bit uh later on yeah okay uh what is next oh yes um we're going to build up these entrances here now we're going to provide one side's going to be a window and one side's going to be a door so frame it with some spruce stairs add in your door and you can see we can do the same sort of thing on all the sides actually this one here i'm going to put a double window and this one i'm just going to make a double window as well i think so correct the way up on the floor upside down on the ceiling and then window window and this one i'll make into a door window combination as well so there's going to be nice space for the window and a nice space for the door so lots of lovely space inside here again bring your chimney right down into the middle of that it's a nice warm round house i do like it okay last little bit of trim on this round house would be some beautiful upper spruce slabs really help to join up that gap between the root the, the uh, <clears throat> stones the stone bricks and the andesite and your round house there we go looking very good okay so where else do we have to do? Oh yes, a little bit of a sunshade down here was one of the cunning details I put in as well. So again, just bring yourself across some nice spruce fences, some trap doors, and then <clears throat> your choice of colors for your little awning or sunshade. I think I've gone for orange and cyan. Yep, happy with that, looks mighty fine. Okay, so I think we do have uh, a tree house to build. Yeah, we've got a tree house. So I'm going to build this tree house as a floating tree house, and it's going to be up to you to build the tree underneath. So we're going to go for a staircase coming up kind of in that pattern. And then behind the staircase, I'm going to go for some upside down stairs. One facing the initial stair and two facing kind of in the way like that. Then some slabs coming across. Little fences joining up there. <clears throat> and now we can build, <clears throat> excuse me, a little 5x5 five five cube. And we've been doing these 5x5 five five cubes all video and all through my 5x5 five five series. So if you want to watch any of my other 5x5 five five videos, then you can press on that blue hashtag AndyZura5x5. Five five. Anyway, a bog standard Minecraft 5x5 five five little house like that is all I'm going to do for this uh, treehouse. I'm also providing a little bit of a balcony around it as well, so sticking out two blocks of oak log, put some oak wood planks and some spruce fences, and um, we'll just put on a nice, easy, standard Minecraft roof as well. And that's your treehouse ready for the tree 
underneath. That's a good way of doing it, uh, I think. Rather than building the tree first, I think uh, better to build the tree house first and kind of match the tree into the exact spot that you want the tree house. Now the rest of this build is just bushes, rivers, lakes, and trees. When you're putting the rivers down, I recommend some nice sugar cane, grow it in clumps, and all I do to build a tree is I hold down the place button and move backwards, and it just makes some nice easy branches. And again, all I do is I hold down the uh, the, the placing button to place some leaves and I get a nice looking uh, tree as well. Okay, let's have a look at the final build. Once you put all your rivers in, once you put all your trees and your bushes in, this is exactly what it should look like. Guys, thank you very much indeed for watching. It's very much appreciated indeed. Do thump that like button if you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and tap that notification bell as well. That way you won't miss any of my city building live streams, which I'm doing at 4 p.m. UK every single day as well. And I'm also doing them sometimes at 10 p.m. as well so that North Americans can see my live streams as well. My videos are, are you know, what I do for a living, so please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you won't miss any of them. Thank you so much indeed for watching, and I'll see you in another video very shortly. Ciao, ciao, with the blocks. Be with you.